Okay, now that we've got uh, all of our nuts removed here and the rims are ready now to basically be popped from the bead. And to do that again, we're going to use our tire pliers here. This is designed to actually get underneath the rim and pop the bead as we work our way around. To make things a little smoother, again, we want to use our soapy water here. Just go all the way around here and get the bead and the, the rubber, especially next to the rim, good and coated. This just kind of helps to lubricate it to get it popped underneath that bead um, and avoid potentially damaging the tire as well. So to get this started, one of the things to note here is that if your rims have been on mounted like this for a couple years, these beads are going to be set up pretty good. And these tire pliers, uh, at least for myself, when you go to stand on them, I don't have quite enough weight in order to get this, this piece of it underneath the rim. So there's a little bit of a trick here. You can use the opposite side, which is the smaller portion of the wedge, and you can start out in a certain area on the rim here using your hammer. And what we're going to do is use, just put this piece Turn this around so you can see a little better. Put this piece, just kind of slide it down the tire until it rests right against the rim. Kind of hold that on the opposite side. You're going to take your hammer and we're just going to tap gently to get this piece down underneath the rim. It may take a little bit of doing if, the, if it's been a while since it's been removed. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use this to kind of pry up a bit. Do it a couple times. Be careful not to lose control of it, have it pop out too much. Then we're going to move just a couple inches clockwise or kind of counterclockwise, either way. And we're going to do this again. And essentially, what this does is it just helps to kind of loosen up the, the rim. It's not popping the bead, but it's loosening it up there enough. So now you've got an area about four to six inches over there where it should be looser. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip this around. And this is where we're essentially going to insert the wide part underneath the rim here. Because this is the more difficult piece to get lodged underneath there. So we'll go 180 degrees. We'll flip back. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, except for this time we're actually going to hold it in place. actually use the tire pliers. Now these are pretty slick, pretty slick tool. Um, once you got this this side lodged, just take your foot, kind of stand on there to hold it in place. And then we're going to stand on the opposite side right here with our other foot and kind of hop down in order to get enough pressure to get this down underneath. And as we're hopping, we're going to pull back like so in order to wedge this side of it underneath the rim. It can take a little bit of doing. Again, these have been recently removed, so it's not too bad. Just keep your foot over there. You're going to hold the inside bar, and then you're going to pull back on the outside bar, like so. Do that a couple times, and then pop it back out. And we're just going to continue that. We're going to work our way around. About every four inches or so is usually a pretty good pattern to follow. slide. And once you get that first one in, everyone after that uh, becomes a little bit easier because it's just getting that initial starting point that's the most difficult. Pull back a couple times. Once you reach the halfway point, it's enough to where you'll feel it kind of pop loose. Um, and then the, the top piece will just pull right off. So I'll go ahead and uh, pause this for now and, and we'll come back once we've got it all the way around.